Scratch and I have been competing in some ranch classes at a local show here in town. And then I wanted to tell you about the show experience. It's a little bit tricky because I don't have a dedicated videographer. We're headed to the High Desert Horseman Horse Show in Palmdale. We're on Highway 138. This is the third horse show that I haven't gotten any footage from, so I'm committed to try that's vague, to get some footage. It's tough, I'm a shy guy. It's hard to ask somebody to take pictures of me, but I'll give it a go and we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get some footage today and I can uh, show you what, uh, what it's all about. I always get nervous at these things. I try and convince myself that eh, it doesn't really matter. But if it doesn't really matter, why are you doing it? It does matter. It measures our horsemanship and it lets us know what kind of things that we have to work on when we get home. After I got there and Scratch and I warmed up, the wind is crazy up here. I was able to get faith uh, for my trail run. The very first thing you do is enter the course, turn, back up, and then turn on the haunches so that you set yourself up to walk over some elevated logs, a bridge, and an empty water box. Right after you finish walking over the water box, the pattern called for us to pick up a left lead lope, kind of a circle through the box, and then break down to an extended trot over the logs. It was really hard getting Scratch to pick up that left lead lope. We kind of fumbled through those logs. After that, it was to walk up to the rope gate and do a right hand push through that gate. Then we had to rope a cow, so I had a rope on my saddle and I built a loop and I caught one horn. And then the last item in the pattern was loping to the starting point and doing a stop. I thought we did okay. Nothing spectacular, but we did okay. It's going to be a while before our next ranch riding class, so we're going to take a break, have some lunch, maybe uh, shoot some still photos. When it was our turn for the ranch riding, I found a gal that I just met there, Deborah, and she was able to videotape my run. 1259. John here on scratch. This pattern starts off with a trot in a serpentine. You made two right turns, then two left turns, and then you trotted for probably about 10 or 12 feet and then picked up a left lead lope. Scratch didn't pick up his left lead right away, but he did make a flying lead change uh, about a third of the way down the arena. And then come back up, crossing the middle, where you make a lead change. Came back around the near side of the arena, crossed over to the other side, where we broke down to an extended trot over four poles, then walk, spin once in each direction, and noticing my spins, Scratch and I need to also, besides that left lead lope, we need to start working on those spins and get them a little bit tighter, a little bit better, a little bit quicker. After a spin in each direction, you walk forward a short distance and then you back up. And Scratch was a little bit resistant in that back up. I would have liked to see him a lot more relaxed than that. It was a double point show, we entered three classes, so that meant there were six opportunities to be judged. We got scores in all six opportunities. We weren't near the top. The reigning class happened after dark, so uh, there wasn't enough light, nor were there people around other than the judges to videotape that run, so I, unfortunately I didn't get that. Right now I'm just trying to get Scratch used to the show and the show environment and trying to get him to pay attention to me in the show ring. 
Also, it helps me with my nerves to not put any pressure to try and place in these shows. All in all, it was a positive experience. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you participate in horse shows, please write something in the comment section telling me what disciplines you show in. I'd really appreciate hearing about it. And also, how do you deal with horse show nerves? What are your biggest challenges at horse shows? Does your horse pay attention to you? If you want to hear more talk about horses and horsemanship, check out my Woe podcast about horses. Well, if it's not the helicopter, it's the sirens, right? If you want to hear more talk about horses, check out my Woe podcast about horses and horsemanship. It's available on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and just about anywhere else you can find podcasts. I hope to see you on the trail one day, but until next time, go have some fun with your horses. Bye-bye, everybody.